back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy, Love When I Hate One. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Now, I got some interesting news, and I'm quite sure you guys all probably heard. But this fight right here is really in negotiations and may actually go down. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I kind of like this fight. Now, I know. I get it. I know a lot of people are going to say and have been saying, Oh, Tank is willing to go up to fight Conor Ben, but he's not going to fight Devin Haney. What a duck, etc. And yes, Tank do have to be held accountable for that. Not only that, people saying that Javante Davis is not willing to fight some real competition. Well, I disagree with that. I personally feel like Tank has faced good competition in the past. Now, I know it's been a while, but I'm not going to sit here and say Tank just been fighting all bums his whole career. Now, he do need to step it up because lately, everybody he has been facing don't have no significant wins on their resume. It just is what it is, you guys. But yes, go ahead and kill me now because this fight right here is tickling my fancy. I'm going to tell you guys why. First of all, this fight right here, you know somebody's getting knocked out. Conor Ben hits hard, very explosive, and he's bigger than Tank. This fight can arguably be a better fight. I'm talking about excitement-wise. It can be a better fight than the Devin Haney fight. Because even though Devin Haney, he's a good fighter, but I can see him running all night versus Tank. Conor Ben not going to do that. He's going to come and fight. And he's going to try to take Tank's head off. So Tank better be very careful in this fight. Now let me tell you guys this. Another reason I don't mind the fight is because, come on you guys, think about it. Tank been in jail. Not only that, the last time Tank fought was what, April, March? Tank hasn't fought in damn near a year. So he's been inactive. You really think Tank, in his first fight back, is going to face a top-tier fighter? Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, even Tio? That's not going to happen. I'll be shocked if this fight even happened. But I really do feel like it's going to happen, if that makes any sense. Because, I don't know, I feel like Tank is looking at this as a huge money fight, which it is. And maybe he looks at the fight like it's just easy money. Who knows? But if we're looking at a comeback fight or a tune-up fight, I would rather see this than to see Tank fight Jose Venezuela, Ryu. I feel like this fight is more entertaining. Plus, we've seen Ryu lose before. We've seen Ryu get stopped before, hurt. And it won't shock us if Tank done the same thing. Another thing is this. Conor Ben, he really believes in himself. And he will talk trash. So the buildup will be epic. So Tank will have an opportunity to get the UK crowd involved. And I see this as a mega fight, y'all. And I think this fight will be fight of the year candidate. Because you can say whatever you want about Conor Ben and Tank. Both of their styles is very crowd pleasing. Especially Conor Ben. Because even though Tank knocks people out sometimes tank will run or he'll be in there basically moving away from danger and shit like that until he find his punch right Conor ben he don't care he's going he's coming straight forward he's throwing those hands he's willing to trade with you and everything explosive and quick so with that being said like i'm telling you guys man call be guilty because i will have my popcorn ready to watch this fight not only that, I want to say this. If Tank beats Conor Ben, he's not really going to get no credit. But if Conor Ben beats Tank, he's going to be arguably the next biggest star. Kind of got that Roley effect again. Because you all know, we all know if Roley would have beat Tank, Roley would have been the man right now still. So Conor Ben has the opportunity to do the same thing. And even though... This fight is not going to be for a title. It's just for pride's sake. For Christ's sake. That's my thoughts on this shit. I am out.